all right hello friends and welcome to a new video today i'm doing something different i am doing a swap an led swap on my controller i was thinking of doing it on the death stranding one ah but this was brand new and it's just not gonna cut it with this led kit and it's also brand new and i don't want to do anything destructive to it. So we are going to put this to the side and we're going to do it on this DualShock 4. This is from the Destiny set. This is old. It's kind of busted. Um, so hopefully when I remove the joysticks, I can clean it up a little bit. So this is just like a little experiment. What we have here is the extreme rate. I bought this on Amazon and it's a kit that brings clear uh, buttons you can buy different ones there's a whole bunch this is i believe the a1 it brings the kit with all the tools that you need to remove the face buttons the d-pad and the the joy cons or the these things the analog sticks joy cons oh, that's switch all right so it brings all of that then it brings the leds on like a board already pre-wired wired so hopefully there's not that much soldering to do or none at all also brings a little bag of extra screws and then i have my toolkit just in case so let's get to it on uh, some of these things i will just uh, fast forward do it like super hyper lapse and there goes the screwdriver already. I'm not very good at soldering, so I hope that there's no soldering involved. <coughs> and I'm still <clears throat> a little bit under the weather. I think I'm hitting puberty. All right, so that's just gnarly disgusting. So I bought this on Amazon. I thought it was gonna take a while for it to arrive. And it got here pretty quickly. I think I'm gonna swap the screwdriver. What number do you think that is? P20? P22? Let's see. No, it has to be <laughs> All right, so this kid arrived pretty quickly. It's about thirty US dollars. It's a do it yourself kit. And it should be a very quick installation. I've never actually disassembled completely a, a dual shock. So that's my scary part. I have done other stuff. So I've done Raspberry Pi stuff. So I'm pretty sure I could handle this. This one is stuck. All right, so it's almost there. <laughs> All right, that one needed some pressure. All right, so let's get this tool. In the meantime, let's go back to this. What do you need? Take apart the controller. All right, that was like very not detailed. 
take the screws off. There's a ribbon cable there. Right. There's already something broken in there. Loose and broken here. All right, so very carefully to move this guy. So I think that's what these tweezers are for. So I'm thinking this has. just pulled off. So the blue was towards the outside. I don't know what was broken. I think the trigger is broken. Well that one stayed there. Next thing is to remove the battery. Like so. So this goes there. I think this is broken. Look at that. I don't think that's supposed to come off like that. Well, I found something broken. I think it's sharp. All right, so what's the next step? We have to take one screw off. All right, we're going to take this off. These trees don't break for nothing, are they? There we go. Managed not to break that. And it says there is a screw right there. That was not working. Let's try this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to remove this very carefully, and these things just fell off. And I'm going to grab that screw. I'm going to put it back in there. So now I know. It belongs there. The four, these are the four outside ones. So I'm just going to set these to the side. All right, what's the next step? So I took that apart, took that apart. So this comes up with the. This is coming out with. The motors. There you go. Let's 
So it actually didn't record everything. So right now I remove the buns and that, and I found out that this is sheared off. There's a post for the screw that goes here. So I'm gonna have to super glue this afterwards in. These two sheared off, and now we have this onto the side. So what's the next step? All right, apply the LEDs to the flex board. So let's flip this puppy up, move this to the side. So what I'm curious is the battery. So I think that is where the old stuff doesn't work. The only connections that you're going to have are at the battery. So if it doesn't work, that's where we have an issue. So let me find that out first. And by the looks of it, I think it does work. So this supposedly goes there. Careful. So that fits there. Now the question, does it fit here? And indeed it works there. All right, so that's cool. <clears throat> now, how can I test this? I don't even know if this was charged. <laughs> That's funny. Well, we'll find out. This is what's backwards. Hmm. We'll find out. All right, so we're going to stick this there. I have no clue what I'm doing now. All right, so. Okay, so this goes here probably. And this goes here. This goes here. This turns around. It goes here, and the cable goes around, and it goes here. Yep, that's that's how it should go. This cable goes around up here. Okay. I think I have it right. So I'm gonna put this here so it props it. Now I need something higher. There. There, perfect. Alright, so this is gonna go here. I know that for sure. Alright, so I'm gonna peel off.
carefully rolling. And this goes completely wrong, and this is incorrect. Let's see. That seems about right. Okay. How do you feed this cable? The cable just goes through here. It sticks there. Hmm. Huh. All right. If you say so. And the final one. And if you notice that guy screaming outside, he's selling water in the the five, you know, the ten gallon jug. I don't know the big jug of purified water. That's how that goes. This should go up here. I could maybe tuck it in there. I know that's probably going to cause some issues. There it goes. Okay, so peeling it goes. My dog scared me again. Great job, dog. Nailed it. All right. So now let's put these puppies in. Harder than I thought, so let's hold it. There you go. Okay, it just has to align correctly. So this is like a rectangle. And it ever so slightly has to align. There you go. That was scary. Alright, what's next? Let me see the instructions. Oh, I gotta glue that. Alright, so the next step is going to be, let's see, where am I at? I already put this together. So that's step three. Step four, put the face plate and metal board on the controller back together. Okay, we'll do. All right, so we have to put the back plate, the face plate and metal board on the controller. Yep. <coughs> And I had to sneeze. This fell off. Mm. 
Alright, so I'm going to remove the screw. <coughs> oh. Allergies. Alright, so let's hope nothing is in the way. Hopefully that one's in the way. So I'll be really annoying to undo all of this. Ever so slightly. Should I sit in properly? So then there you go. Now where did that screw go? And I lost my screw. Awesome. <laughs> That's just fun. See, these things happen, people. There it is. All right, that feels good. All right, what's the next step? All right, so we're gonna put the ribbon back in. I remember that door being plucked open. <clears throat> we'll find out if it works. Oh, there it goes. All right, so that's how it locks. Ooh. So this little thing moves up. I just have to close it, I guess. Install in the LED mainboard and get everything connected. Do not turn the LEDs in this step. So one is stick this thing. Up in the oh, all the cables got tangled. The motor. No, we don't want that. All 
right, so this goes on to here. Where? Right here. Okay, so. All right, I'll try that. Guess there. It just shows two cables there. So this is more like a good luck, I hope it works. All right, so let's figure that out. So I know my battery thing is broken. there I guess maybe the blue part goes out like that the battery gets connected here oh gosh this is fishy Kiddos, don't drink coffee when doing this. All right, there you go. Now let's, I guess, tuck everything and pray. Tuck and pray. Maybe this goes. I think it's getting there. All right. Oh no, what did I do? I try to do something. At least we know they work ish. I don't know how they turned on. What was it? <laughs> I have no clue how they're turning on. I think this thing is not in the right place. Good work. It works. I'm actually changing it. That is crazy. It works. 
my trigger limit? Or not? Am I? I felt like I was. At least. I'll wait there. Don't touch it. Okay, it does work. But I think every time I'm going to be playing, I'm going to trigger it right there. I'll have to figure out how to turn it off. I'll read the instructions. If it stays on forever, it's going to be annoying. It's going to kill my finger. All right, guys, that's it for today. Just be careful. Don't follow too much my instructions. This was fun. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.